All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, to another episode of Hermit Skies. Hermit Skies, back to back, baby. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Dude, since the last episode, I've actually uh, done a little bit of uh, off-camera grindage here. Um, one thing I did do, <laughs> I created the most stupid butter knife squid farm <laughs> in the world. Right here. Um... Because there are no other loaded, like, water chunks, squid spawn a lot if you place down water at the right, right Y level. So I just did this. Uh, they spawn, they fall down, and they eventually die here. And this little chest will collect the ink sacks. And we needed this because I needed the concrete. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on. I don't know if this has been nerfed since I last played. Feels like this battery runs out all the time. I've, like, charged it three times. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, this is because I wanted the grey concrete for the for our jungle temple walls. So I filled that in as well. Um, and I also crafted up some more vibrant capacitors. So now we have three of these bad boys. And, oh, I see now why the battery runs out. It's because I have them in my inventory. Ah, and I had them in my inventory before. <laughs> Very fun. Today, dudes, the plan is... I want to move my power generator and I want to move my A system into the new jungle temple that we created last episode. That's going to be the, the main focus and hopefully we can get to do some quests as well. I'm thinking to have the A terminal right here. Um, and I think that's the only thing we need to access at the moment. Let's go back here, going back and forth. I think it's the only thing we need to access. Uh, I'd also like to be able to access these things though, the ME drives and stuff. I wonder, we crafted up a controller. Yes, we did. We crafted up a controller. Very fine. Can I make more uh, standard cables? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, <clears throat> we crafted up a controller, and I think that's going to be uh, what we plug in this time. We're going to, I'm going to try and hide the AE system behind the wall completely. I don't want to see all the all the junk. Let's just see what we need. We're, this here is a machine that shouldn't really be sitting on the same wall actually you know what the no the charge we still need but then we have the advanced stuff here for uh, the cro uh, the crystal chamber and the uh, inscribers so we want to have do we want them on the machine wall or on the ae wall um in terms of terminals that we're going to need later down the line is interface terminal pattern terminal and that's it so we need three terminal slots good to know good to know ha hello there are so many animals here what 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 are you hold on what you what you all about, green green guy? Three salt oil. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll I'll uh, maybe keep him <laughs> safari net. Let's grab him in in a single use one. <clears throat> we may need that. I don't know. Lots of Valentine's cows as well because it's Valentine's this week. Yeah, so the move move fluid changes to that. Uh, I guess I think is is what's happening anyway. But yeah, I think this is going to be fairly simple to move. Uh, I also have a dimensional transceiver crafted up. So I should be able to not care about the power right now and just move the A system. Uh, I'm thinking about all the automatic things we have. And this is like it. Just sending smooth stone into that for the when we built the thing. So I'll probably take this down for now. And what is this thing? Do I use this? Oh yeah, that's just... Yeah, we do have a few storage buses, I suppose. We, we store the cobblestone... Cobblestone and smooth stone. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think we're I think we're good to uh, To break this down. The problem is when you break this down you <laughs> you obviously um, Will lose out on your entire storage system, right? So you want to be a bit careful Netherrack maybe or maybe I connected uh, pff, This is so badly made. Yeah, we need to put up some new storage drawers basically today as well try and figure out so that we that we have the deep storage um so we don't fill up our a system with garbage with garbaccio but i think that's it to get started so let's see if we can install it so we'll plop down this guy oh no not like that uh how do how do i actually do this if i do that and then you know what here's how we do we use a cable i'm gonna use a black cable here because then this uh will be colored black right beautiful beautiful look at how good this concrete stuff works Ooh, it's so good it's so good. So we'll have that there, and then I think... Crap, I should have brought some smooth stone. The most important things for me to see are the ME drives. And I'm thinking maybe we can make space for four of these. 
Uh, I don't think we'll need more in a while, so we'll place them there. And then I need to make some more later. Um, and we'll just put this back in. And there we go. I, I thought I had... Let's, <laughs> let's sort these through as well, shall we? Um, and then we'll put down the controller just in the center back here. This is something we are going to build build bigger as we go here because the ME system needs a bigger bigger controller to get more faces. Um, happy and sad face. No, I'm just kidding. But it needs more sides to connect stuff to later. But for now, that's fine. And we need the power. I don't know if you need to use the energy acceptor, but we'll, we'll do that and we'll just power this from the bottom. Uh, we got to make this stop sending cobble. And it should just receive main power. That should power it. Very nice. Uh, very nice. We're making progress. And I should be able to cheat this a little bit and use the ugly normal cables here. Uh, like a so. And that should be our Emmy system or our storage system back on track. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like to have it numbered by items and automated. Uh, I also made some of these, um, what are they called? Facades? Facades. So I can put that around there. Oh, no. That looks a little bit weird with the concrete. Okay, maybe I want to use another block there just to uh, just to make it look a little bit better. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we'll make uh, we'll make the other two panels that we need later sit on the side of this. So that's all good. I need packing tape and for that I need slime and I do not have slime. <laughs> I need packing tape so I can move my storage drawers. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's go to the mining dimension, I guess, and see if we can find any slimes. That's probably going to be the easiest. I don't know if the Tinker's Island spawn in here, because uh, that would be that would be an insta win for for getting the slimes. But uh, hopefully, we'll see some slimes jumping around or something. Look at the chance cubes, dudes! <laughs> Freaking Valentine's. Let's go. Let's do. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's funny that they started burning immediately. No! Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, look at this. They do spawn in. I just saw a black... Like, I'd given up on finding Tinker's Island, but uh, I saw a black spot on or blob on the, on the ground, and uh, here we go. Very nice. Uh, very nice. I know they spawn in the overworld as well uh, in Project Ozone, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. That's a lot of slime. I can transfer... Yes, okay. So I could do that. Packing tape. Very fine. Why did I now have a blue one? That's... Oh, maybe I broke... Maybe I broke a blue one. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> if you haven't seen this before, this thing here basically lets you pack up, wrap up the storage drawers like crates and move them about. So I can do that and then I can break that without the content spitting all over the place. And I guess, I mean, we're gonna want to have gravel, sand, cobble. We had a smooth stone somewhere here. We should set this up immediately as well today to get the storage room moved over before we jump into the power power generator. This one, boom. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'll grab the cobblestone generator. And honestly, we can we can kind of hide all of this. We, we don't really need to see it. Netherrack, we're not gonna get that much of, so I don't think it's uh I don't think it's worth having in deep store. Uh, obviously, obviously everything is worth having in deep storage, but it's kind of boring. Uh, and annoying as well, having to add, and I always do it, so, um, what we're gonna need, though, is a drawer controller, which I thought we had made for a quest, but maybe not, okay, well, I got it, drawer controller, okay, so, maybe we should try and put a little bit of a floor back here, um, I think we'll just hide it back here, honestly, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at this anyway, or I'm not, I'm not gonna need to look at this, um, the, the drawers anyway <clears throat> we can honestly even disable the uh, the labels of them and that will save us some lag so we'll just do something like this we'll have a drawer controller in the center we'll connect that bad boy up with a storage con ah, i don't have that okay <laughs> i need oh no actually you know what oh i almost broke it you know what this guy will go here on the floor we'll put the cobblestone generator underneath that way we can continue to generate cobblestone uh i think if i would take yeah, 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 it's gonna work. It's gonna work. There's no way, no good way of testing it, but um, anyway. We'll put that there, we'll put sand, we'll put gravel, and then I just need my, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, what is it called? Storage bus. Storage bus is what I'm trying to say, bro. And I'm kind of hoping that we can connect this on the front of this. I'm not sure, though. Sometimes this is a little bit weird. 
put that to a high priority so that everything goes there first and if this is successful yes it is okay very nice so now we can access these things from our from our system and i don't need to care about it the gravel though do we have any storage upgrades uh upgrade modules module no storage upgrade uh we need to upgrade the gravel one wonder what we can spare don't have much resource i have anything that's that's like the next big thing that we need to start dealing with here uh but yeah let's let's chuck a few of these in here let's chuck two of those in there i guess the last one there okay so now how much gravel do we actually have if i take this out i wonder if it goes no it doesn't actually pick from the barrel it picks from the system that's handy oh, that's handy hasn't always been like that 3200 a little bit more just to make sure that my system is clean those of you who follow most of my modded series you know how important these small things are for me that will clear out our system as well Ooh, hello there lightning bolt freaking scared the life out of me jeez all right uh the a system is moved i also crafted up some more drives uh did we have more storage we do have two more i guess we can just use these guys as well um <clears throat> now we got to make sure that we are considerate about amount of channels used because uh as opposed to full craft full craft we're using uh, the the normal configuration in this pack so uh on every how do i explain this on every side of this block you can extract as much as 32 channels every machine that requires uh that has anything that it can do besides powering something requires a channel and um essentially here we're using five channels on this side of the of the block a uh, one two a uh, three four five right four, four four drives and one terminal uh like i said 32 per side of this block now you can extend this by adding more of these controllers and get more faces which i was speaking about earlier uh i'm sorry if i'm freaking confused <laughs> confusing and high tech here but i just want you guys to understand how cool this mod is um However, even though you can pull 32 out from a side, with this cable here, with the, with this skinny normal cable, you can only pull out 8 channels. So, if we want to get the 32, we need something called a fat cable. Cable, what is it called? Smart cable? No, we need a dense cable. Yeah, we need a dense cable if we, if we want to, if we want to utilize all the 32 channels. Which, you know, at the moment we don't really need to, so it's all good. The dense cable is made like that, so it's 4 cables and glowstone and redstone not too bad um these needs to be covered cables covered cables is just wool and a cable basically but uh, we don't have to worry about channels now we just have to be a little bit smart when we plug things in um and remember how many channels we're using um <clears throat> now i want to put uh, i want to move my machines as well and i just want to have like like i had in hermit pack i think that's the best way of doing it i want to have a manual machine wall so uh, i can like use machines manually and hopefully we can fit all we need here. Let's go back to the... Uh, let's go back to the base. Uh, to the old base. I'm hoping to like tear this down. Uh, maybe today or next episode. Um, okay. We don't need the compactor. We don't... Well, this could be good to have, I suppose. I mean, we'll just see what we, what we need when we put it up. Uh, I definitely want to reset this up, though. This was a very good system. Thank you very much, Eskal. You're so smart. This basically refuels itself automatically. And I use this all the time to... Just burn down whatever I want. I'd like to have another one of these so I can automate something with it. But uh, uh, it, since I only have one, I think the the uh, same the same thing to do is to keep it as a uh, uh, as a manual manual machine. Um, but there we go. We'll do that last, I think. Um, save a spot for it. I want the growth crystal accelerator. Still don't know if I want to put the AE stuff on the AE wall. Uh, the reasoning behind doing that. Ooh, we better save those flowers. They were valuable. The reasoning behind behind doing that is because uh, some of these requires the AE power, not the RF power. Uh, one more thing, though. This thing we need to move as well, eh? I just realized that. Yes. Okay, let's take that out. Let's put some of these things in that we don't need right now. Boom. And we should probably plug this in first because I use that all the time. That's basically our system that sends stuff into the AE system. And I'm going to need the interface for that, which I have. That's actually a thing with the AE system that we need to add. So let's... Uh, Let's go back here, and I think in order to import anything to an A system, you need to use an interface, right? <laughs> I think. So we're going to use our sixth channel over here. We're going to put a uh, 
ender chest right there for example it doesn't really matter where it is we need to chunk load this as well we want to be able to use this um and i can't actually remember what chunk loaders we have in this pack but yeah that there should work sucks it into the system very nice very nice so uh, <clears throat> let's uh, look at this a uh, wall let's go with um do I need both pulverizers? I mean, there are some things that the pulverizer will be able to do that the alloy smelt or sag mill can't do. Uh, so maybe I will need both. I'm going to make sure that all of these are unconfigured. I don't want them to send stuff or in any way be automated. Except maybe filling this guy with flint. Because that gives us more uh, output. So maybe we can automate that later. Uh, we'll put the pulverizer there then. Pulverizer, I mean. Pulverizer. That's the Swedish way of saying it. The magma crucible and the fluid transposer. We definitely want to keep as well. Magma on the bottom and then this on the top. And this will allow me to like automatically send stuff uh, from the magma into the fluid. I think I can do that. Because you never actually use this. This just breaks blocks into their fluids. And this here does something <laughs> with the fluid. So they're kind of connected in a way. Slice and splice. Uh, I don't want to put that in the center actually. That's not very often we use these. And soul binder goes down. This we don't need. That was how we made the roses. We can put that up if we need it. And yeah, like I said, maybe we'll put these guys on this wall here, actually. How do I make that pretty? Pretty. Maybe we'll put put them up here. Or maybe they will just be... Where did I put the inscriber? I know I, I needed to craft up some uh, more processors. Yes, you know, it's over here. You see, you see, I remember things. <clears throat> maybe we put these uh, all the way out, actually. Well... Well, you know, they kind of look, they look pretty ugly, so, <laughs> sorry, let's put them there. I don't think these guys require a channel, but I'm not sure about that, and I kind of want to find that out. Uh, I think these are machines that only require power and not a data, data channel, but we can find that out. Let's craft a smart cable whilst we're on the topic here. Um, you take a cable and you add redstone and glowstone to it, okay, so, no, okay, we need a, we need a covered cable, okay. So let's do wool and cable. And these cables are so much nicer looking, by the way. We'll do that. Uh, craft up a few. They're so much nicer looking. And then redstone and glowstone. And that gives us a smart cable. Let's craft a few of those. The smart cables will tell you how many channels you're using. And this is built in in the dense cable. So if I would place down... I actually only need one of these right here. If I place that down there, we're going to be able to see. Yeah, so we're using six channels, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. The two black lines indicates that we are not using a channel. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six things. So these do not require require any channels. If I take this away... One of these lines will... Yeah, you saw the line shut off there. Very cool. That's a good way to uh, to stay in shape. <laughs> it's a good way to see how many channels you're using in an A system. All right. Next up, let's try and move our Furni here. I've already done these filters before, so it should be pretty easy. However, we need lava production um, <clears throat> close by because... Uh, yeah, ob <laughs> obviously it uses lava to refuel, which is something we have infinite of. We just need... Uh, we just need to reprovide it. So let's go back, back behind the machine frames, I guess. We do have a lot of space back here, by the way. So that's nice. We can always hide stuff. And I, I think I want to play it that way. Usually I, I like, like to see what's going on. But uh, I want to make it, try and make it a little bit neat this time. And just to differentiate things up. So we'll put that down there. And the energy for this is going to be this tank. And then both of these going to be in, in and out. Just trying to remember how I did this. Uh, let's see if so this extracts empty buckets whitelist. No, that's wrong. Okay. We had a 50% chance of taking the right one. Of course, we took the wrong one. And this is going to be insert and extract. And this one is going to always extract empty buckets. And I think that's all we need to do. Now we just need to put a bucket in there. If I smell something up, we should get a new bucket in. Very nice. We just need to make sure we feed lava into this tank, basically. But that's that put up as well. Uh, now we need to power all of this as well. And I think we want to use the Ender IO cables. Uh, conduits for this. They can transfer 51,000. Okay, <laughs> this is, this is going to be easy. This is good. So uh, 
just wire all of these on the back side, I guess. But before we can hook the machines up, let's do the big move here. The big scary thing. And that is to move our power generation. Now, <clears throat> I thought about this for a while. Do I want to hide it? Do I want to keep it? Let's shut off our battery here. Do I want to hide it? Do I want to keep, uh, keep it visible? I mean, it's a very cool thing, but... In order to keep consistency here, what I think we should do is place down a... Where is the... Concrete will be here. Yeah, we should place down a... Uh, uh, a big capacitor bank here, using the three vibrant ones I made earlier. And that should give us the little display if we want it. Yeah, uh, can we make that fatter? Wonder. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just keep it like that. Maybe, maybe. And this can store how much? Uh, 300,000 per tick, that's good, and it can store 750 million RF. Okay, so down here is where I will move our power generator to. Now, <clears throat> this was the place that in the last episode I said that we don't have any space on this side. Well, it turns out we do. Turns out we do have space down here. Uh, it's just this little area here that we need to fill in, but we do have a big island behind here. I was kind of confused because uh, I know that I know that I centered the whole elevator, so I didn't understand why I had air behind, but I just didn't look well enough, I suppose, or good enough. Um, but yeah, I suppose we don't have much space downwards, but that's fine. Uh, that is a fine. Let's cover that up for now. And this power system is a little bit advanced because the filters are very important not these filters but these down here so again we have a um a white list of an empty bucket coming out of the generator and then this pushes the item back because i didn't have the endario cables and you know what i think for consistency's sake i'm gonna keep using these cables it was a pain to set this up but i'm gonna keep using these cables we don't need faster cables and it looked kind of cool so i want to try and keep the look and hopefully Hopefully we have enough power in our power bank here to uh, to keep us going whilst I whilst I change this up. We also then need to move the lava, but I'll do that secondly. The lava generation that we can redo. We can redo these cables for the NRIO cables, I suppose. Maybe a little bit better. Oh, and then I used that fat cable there. This is infinite power power transmission, by the way, from that. So I want to grab this as well. This is exciting. I know, I know I built this before already, but it's still exciting for me for some reason. I, I can't explain. I can't explain. This was all because in the first loot bag we opened, do you guys remember? We got the Draconium, Awakening Draconium immediately. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. But yeah, anyway. I'm gonna make a room back here, and I'm gonna put this uh, down again. I think what I want to do, design-wise, is have it so that the cables run like this. Um... Or that, uh, sorry, that the width of the thing is, is this way. And then feeds into that guy there. Yeah, this is gonna be good. First part done. I hope I have more of these cryo, cryo stabilized. I think we've got them quite a bit in quest. Oh crap, did we actually run out of power? That went quick. That took me like 20 minutes and we ran out of power. Are you kidding me? No, we're not out of power. What's going on here? Why are you not sending? Dude, like seriously, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Why are you not sending power? Always active. Uh, extract power. Can't be right. What's, go <laughs> What's going on? This whole thing was based off of the fact that I could send power, you stupid idiot. Uh, let's have a look. These dimensional transceivers can be somewhat uh, weird sometimes. Um, before I go have a look, though, <laughs> let's, uh, let's hook this up. I guess we do something like this. Boom. I have a space in the middle because we had eight and I wanted it centered. This should now generate, yeah, 672 hours. You know what? We're not actually generating that much power from our from our super machine here. But the point is that it's passive. We don't have to care about it at all. Um, yeah. I also condensed it a bit. I, I made it so that these will automatically push the, the bucket into the generator. To see if that works here. And hopefully we get the bucket back. Otherwise, this entire thing needs to be redone. redone. Yes, that worked. Okay. So I just configured these tanks to push immediately into the thing. Uh, and that that works as well. So a <clears throat> little bit better condensed. 762 ain't great. Now let's see. Why am I not getting any power over here? We do have this guy. And it's receiving main power. Is it shut off or something? No, always active. Hmm. It shouldn't have to have any sides here. That should just work. This is powered. What the crap? Why is this not powered? Oh, it is powered now. 
All right. <laughs> good talk. Good talk, Emmy system. Good freaking talk, stupid. All right, the next step now is the scary part to move, and that is the lava production. So <clears throat> let's just quickly have a look. We have a cobblestone generator into a cobblestone barrel. That's just a buffer. And then from there, we use the super servos to push the cobblestone into the barrels as quick as possible. And then from there, we pull out the lava. This is a fluid duct into a uh, drum. And the drum was then connected in the past to the... Uh, to the to the tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think I got it set up here again uh, We want to do this round the robin around the robin. There we go uh, I use the same cables. I think that's gonna be good I did reposition the lava drum so lava will transfer a little bit quicker to the lava drum Not that <laughs> not that that's gonna be needed at all. I like, don't be don't be fooled. It's not gonna be needed whatsoever um, But yeah that's our lava <coughs> lava production up and running. We need a uh, we need to send the stuff over to these tanks as well. I wonder if I use the fluid ducts for that part. Uh, do I have do I have more ender fluid po ender flu ender fluid? Can we make some of these bad boys? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if we need to upgrade the speed of these, but um, anyway, <clears throat> let's just uh, let's just use this for now. And this should be everything up and working again. Just gonna disconnect these to make it consistent. And extractor was active. It doesn't look like you can do uh, speed upgrades here. So, yeah, that's filling up the tanks. And hopefully, once this starts running fully, uh, we should see a surplus here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surplus already. Very fine. Very fine indeed. How's the cobblestone generation going? It's, it's also staying backlogged. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> and all our machines are now up and running again. Damn freaking tastic. I'm happy about that. We can I guess we can plug these two holes for now. That doesn't look half bad. I like it. I like it. There's actually one more thing we need to do here. And that is the lava to our to our machine, to our uh fern eye. And I'm gonna make a, a special thing here. I don't know why these try and connect to, <laughs> to that fluid duct there. I'm gonna make a special little thing here that I thought of that could be nice for future uses. Um, this cable will go into the dimensional transceiver and we'll set up a iskal uh, or just lava source uh, into this uh, thing and we will do send. And so now, if if I need at any point, this guy can actually send lava. Um, <clears throat> but we'll also continue on this cable and this is gonna be messy. So I may want to go this way. Very nice. So that will keep uh, keep stock. But like I said, now we can actually pull lava out of our dimensional transceiver. We may want to add water to that as well, just so we can um, so we have a water source at the same area. So let's do that. Let's do that because we're we're kind of moving. We're moving the base, you know, and it makes sense to me. Two buckets. Now we got nothing to receive with here, but in theory, I can now add water source and lock that and add it and always send it and I think we can pull water out somewhere else now if we need uh, if we need that at any point from this dimensional or from from our tra dimensional transceiver network so that's very good lava and water sorted the power is uh, moved the machines are moved let's just have a quick look at what the next steps would be with the with the base move here I want to see how far we get we got we got to move the mob farm but I'm not actually going to move that we're just going to redo the mob farm we got to move the tinker stuff, uh, and if we want to keep our glass factory, which I'm not sure if I want to do. Do we have an endless amount of sand here? Did I set that up correctly? No, I didn't. I did not. I did not take care of everything here. Okay, that's fine. This I think I'm actually going to take down because <laughs> my new base design does not require this much glass. And if it does, we can we can put it back up. It was a fun little process. This we need to make space for. I yeah. I mean, I'm trying to get the workshop done. We have one more wall. Maybe we should have our tinker smeltery where we make the tools on the last wall. And then that that's the workshop kind of done. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. I want to see if we can uh, knock out a quest today as well before we end this episode. You know me. You know me. Try and get a, a quest done at least once every episode. Uh, where is my quest book? Uh, okay, that's scary. Ah, it's in here. Okay, very fine. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can knock something out here. <clears throat> Again, I really don't want to get into this mod quite yet. I guess we can do the Inferium though. Do we have Inferium? 
Ethereum Furni. Uh, uh, yes, okay, we need uh, an Ethereum block as well. And boom! Got it! Got him! <laughs> it's nice to make progression. Prudentium, can we make that as well? Prudentium? No. We, we, need, we need a bunch more of this stuff, which I guess... We get this from killing mobs and you can always har uh, also harvest it in the nether. But um, it gets expensive very quick though. Boom, there's the block and mana infused ingot. Do we have that? Mana infused, that's the mithril. Oh, dudes, how did we make this again? I remember this was one of the things that I got stuck on. Will that turn into... Okay, pulverous mana infused. Maybe this is was a bug that has been fixed. I can't, I don't remember. Oh, look at that. Prudentium. Furni. Plus 35. What is the Zenite one? Just out of curiosity, the one that we use. It's how much plus? It doesn't say. It's not from the same mod. Okay, well, that's a uh, good talk. <laughs> good, good talk. Claim that one as well. Uh, mystical tool rod. Oh, I need to make an actual tool rod. Why would I want that? Is that like a super good thing? Crafting materials for tools. No, not a super. Oh, we get sol solium ingots as well. Hmm. All right. Master Infusion Stone, what does that take? Master Infusion Stone is the red stuff. We get this from killing the Wither, I think, and it's the highest level of uh, of this stuff. So we could we could get we could get to this. Do we get it from our mob farm? Terra Steel is like, where have I got Terra Steel from? Probably loot bags, I would think. Let's see if we get this red stuff from here. No, I can't see it. I can't see it! All right, that's fine. We'll 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 be happy with three quests for today. Let's see what we got. Chance cubes, okay. I did say in the last episode that we may do a chance cube special. What else? Uh, guardian, okay, not the greatest. And oh, these are these are good. I'll take that. All right. Anyway, dudes, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the back-to-back -back action of Hermit Quest. Uh, or Hermit Skies, I mean. I'm very very happy with uh, with the progression today. Very happy we got everything moved in. And let me know what you think about putting the Tinker's Construct here. It may make the most sense, honestly. It may make the most sense. Anyway, thank you guys again. Have a wonderful evening. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.